first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number five on the topic number system now we are going to learn one of the important concept called sum of series so friends listen here the concept sum of series we have learned all these complete concept in the schooling itself while we are at fifth standard sixth standard itself we have learned the entire concept but anyway let me learn again, right? So here, the sum of series is categorized into two model question. One is model number one that is based on a natural numbers and model number two that is based on odd numbers, even numbers and a different sort of numbers. So sum of series, it is easy, right? By just seeing the question itself, you can easily understand. So they usually ask a question like one plus two plus three plus four till 50. So what is the total value? We can't able to sit and add like this in the exam, 1, 2, 3, 4, like this, right? It's completely So for those cases, we have to learn some formula. No other way we have to learn the formula, right? But all the formulas will be very simple. So we have to learn the formula and we have to apply the values according to the given series to solve this question. So just see here, totally we have five formulas, right? For the model number one, we have three formulas and model number two, we have two formulas. And this last set alone, we have a formula. But for some cases, most of the students will make a mistake by learning this new formula. So instead of learning the new formula there, what we can do? The formulas that we already learned in this five, we can apply here and we can solve the question. So totally, you have to learn five formulas in order to solve a question from sum of series. That too is very easy. Just see here. So first, let me take model number one. So model number one, natural numbers, what is called as natural numbers? Numbers that start from 1 is called as a natural numbers, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is called as a natural numbers. So here, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till n. So if they are given a series like this, the formula will be n into n plus 1 divided by 2. Got it or not? So this is the formula for the model 1, that is first equation. So the value of n will be the last number. For example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 till 30. If we need to find the sum of series, total of series, what you need to do? So the value of n will be the last number that is 30. So 30 plus 1 will be 31 divided by 2. So if you do that, you will get the final answer. Got it? That is sum of series. So this is formula number 1. So this formula and the last formula will also be same. Just see what is the last set? 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube up to n cube. So the formula is again everything is same. n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So same formula, but only difference is you have to square the entire number. Got it or not, right? So n into n plus 1 by 2 for the first model, right? And n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole square, that is for a natural numbers for a cube. 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube. If it is 1 square, 2 square, 3 square till n square, then the formula is n into, got it? n plus 1, everything is same. But you need to add a new term called 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Got it? So always the value of n will be the last digit of the given series. Got it? So this is the three formulas that we for we have to learn for this model number one natural numbers. Got it? One for the normal natural numbers and second for the square numbers, square natural numbers and third for the cube natural numbers. That first formula and third formula is easy. Only difference is we have to square the entire number. Got it? So next, model number 2. Just see here, model number 2, here you can able to see it's an odd number. Yes or no? 1, 3, again it's a natural number starting from 1 but it's an odd number. 1, 3, 5, 7, 11, it goes on till 33. So we have to find what is the answer. Right? So just listen carefully, here it is 1 plus 2 plus 3. So we have used the formula but here natural odd numbers. What you need to do here is just listen carefully, the formula will be x square. Got it. So the value of x will be n plus 1 divided by 2. Just listen carefully. In order to get the sum of series for this odd set, the formula will be x square. Got it. But the value of x will be n plus 1 by 2. So n will be the last digit. That is 33 plus 1 by 2. So after finding the n value, right, after finding the... <coughs> So after finding the x value, you have to square the number. So that will be the answer for the odd series. And for the even series, the formula will be x into x plus 1. Just listen here, the value of x will be 
n by 2. Got it or not? So this is the major difference between odd and even. Got it? So here the formula for odd will be x square. Formula for even will be x into x plus 1. Right? So in we have to find the value of x. So x is equal to n plus 1 by 2. So n will be the last digit of the given series. So similarly here the n will be the last digit of the given series and the formula is x into x plus 1. Got it? And the last alone, right? The last question is completely different. They won't start, the series will not be start from 1, 2, etc. They will start from or some other numbers between 1 to 100. Just see, starting from 51, 53, 55. Similarly, 71, 73, 75, up to 105. What is the answer? So those cases are different. So firstly, we can solve some of the example question by using all those numbers. And then we can solve the last question so that you can able to understand the concept. Right? So that's it, friends. You don't want to learn. Some students will ask me whether I have to learn for 1 power 4, 2 power 4, 3 power 4. It is your wish based on the exams. If you are preparing for CAT exams, you have to learn till 1 power 5. There is a formula. You have to learn till 1 power 5. But if you are preparing for other than CAT exams like a bank, staff selection, campus interview or your state competitive exams, this stuff is more than enough to solve the questions in the exams. So let me move on to some of the example question based on all these models. So here we have taken some example questions. So we are going to solve this example question by using the formula what we learned previously. So friends always remember one thing before solving these types of question. So every time while seeing a question remember that which model it is and what formula it is right. After knowing the model and formula and then try to solve the question. So first question. So 1 plus 2 plus 3 till 30. So we have to find what is the total that is sum of series. It's model 1 or model 2. You can able to see it's a natural numbers, not a square, not a cube, a normal numbers. So it's model number 1, category 1 formula. So what we learnt is n into n plus 1 divided by 2. So where the value of n will be 30. So instead of n, substitute 30 here. So 30 into 31 divided by 2. So when you cancel it, so 15 into 31, so 5 times, so 15, 16, 1 times, 4, so 465. So 465 will be the total, that is sum of series will be 465. So question number 2, so 1 square, 2 square, 3 square till 12 square. So which model it is, which model series it is? Model 1, that is natural numbers. But it says square numbers, yes or no? 1 square, 2 square, 3 square. So what is the formula? n into n plus 1, 2n plus 1, so divided by 6. Got it? So value of n will be 12. So 12 into 13 into, so two, 12 into 2, 24. So 24 plus 1 will be 25. So 25 divided by 6. So cancel it 2 times 13 or 25 into 2 will be 50. So 50 into 13. So 0, 5 into 3 will be 15, 1. So 5 and 1 will be 6, 650. So 650 will be the sum of series for question number 2. Got it? How easy? Just see, it is very easy. If you, if you buy out the formula, then solving all the question in the sum of series will be easy. That two formula is also very simple. You don't want to spend that much of time to buy out the formula. So formula is also easy. So never try to omit this topic in the exams. So try to learn. It is very easy. So question number 3, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube. So it is a natural numbers. It is model number 1, third category question. So what is the formula? n into n plus 1 divided by 2, the whole square. Got it? So where value of n will be 9. So 9 into 9 plus 1 will be 10. So divided by 2, the whole square. So this becomes 5 times. So 9 into 5 will be 45. So 45 square will be 2025. So 2025 will be the total that is sum of series for question number 3. So question number 4, 1, 3, 5 till 49. It's model 1 or model 2? It's a model 2 category question. You can able to see 1, 3, 5, 7. It's a model 2 that is first category odd numbers. So what is the formula that we learnt is x square. But for finding the value of x, we have to do n plus 1 divided by 2. So n will be the last number of the given series that is 49. So 49 plus 1 will be 50. So 50 by 2 will be 25. So finally we got the value of x will be 25. But the actual formula is x square. 
So 25 square will be 625. So 625 will be the sum of series for the question number 4. So question number 5, 2, 4, 6, 8. It's model 1 or model 2? So model 2, category 2. It's even number. So for even number, the formula will be x into x plus 1. But for finding the value of x, the formula will be n by 2. Got it? So n will be 58. So 58 by 2 will be 29. So finally, we got the value of x is equal to 29. So this can be written as, so 29, so 29 plus 1 will be 30. So 0, 27, 2. 870. So 870 will be the total sum of series for question number 5. So when just see here, it is not at all a difficult question. It's very simple question. Only thing you have to buy at the formula. So if you buy at the formula, then the complete uh, solving procedure will be very simple. So last set alone, that is a last different model alone, we can see now. But that will be completely different from this formulas. So let me move on to the last model question now. So last model question, just see here, so example question 1 that is 10 square plus 11 square plus 12 square till 20 square. So we have to find the sum of series. So friends listen here, if a series starts from 1, we have a formula. If the series starts from 2, that is odd numbers or even numbers, everything we have a formula. But these types of series you can able to see it will not start from 1 or 2. It start from any middle numbers like 10 square you can able to see 51, 53 etc. So for solving this question, this type of question, there is a simple logic. Just listen carefully. They have given from the number 10 square till 20 square, right? So what we can do is we can find the total from 1 square, 2 square till 20 square. Friends, listen carefully. This becomes the total, right? So from I am calculating, from 1 I am calculating. So total, got it? Minus of, so again from 1 square, till 9 square so if you subtract the total from 1 to 20 minus of 1 to 9 square the resultant answer will be 10 to 20 so friends understood this logic or not right so we have to find the sum of series for 10 to 20 for doing it what i'm doing is from 1 to 20 square i'm calculating the total value then i am subtracting with 1 square till 9 square because previous will be 9 square so 1 to 9 square if i subtract then the result and answer will be 10 square to 20 square. Got the logic or not, right? So this will be the first 1 square till 9 square. This will be total. Just see here, 1 square, 2 square till 20 square. Which model it is? Model number 1, natural numbers, but it is a square term. So what is the formula? n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6 minus of 1 square, 2 square, 3 square till 9 square. Again, the same formula n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. But the value of n here is 20. So, substitute here. So, 20. So, this becomes 21. So, 20, 40, 41. So, divided by 6. So, minus of here the value of n will be 9. So, 9 into 10 into 18 in plus 1 will be 19 divided by 6. So now cancel it on, we can cancel this on 3 table. So 2 times cancel this on 3 table, 3 times 1, this will be 5. So similarly cancel this on 2 table or 3 table, 7 3s are 21, so 3 2s are 6. Again cancel it on 2 table 10 times. So this becomes, so 1 7s are 7, so 7 4s are 28, so 2 8 7 0, got it, minus of so 5 into 3 will be 15, so 15 into 19. So I think 2870 minus of 2 thing will be 2585. So this will be the sum of series. So friends got it or not, avoided it. So friends listen carefully, if the number starts with 1 or if the number starts with 2, we have a formula for odd and even. But if the number starts like this 10 square, 20 square, the starting number itself different. So those cases what you need to do is, starting from 1, find the total. This will be the total. Subtraction minus of till the previous number 1 to 9. So if you subtract the total minus the previous set, then the resultant will be the given set 10 square till 20 square. Got it or not? So this will be the 2585 will be the answer for sum of series. Got it? So let me move on to another example question. That is 51, 53, 55 till 99. 
So how to find? First find the total that is 1. But, but first listen here. You have to see whether it is a normal number, odd number or even number. Here it is a normal number, right? 10, 11, 12, etc. But here you can see 51, 53, 55. It's an odd number. Got it? So 1, 3, 5 till 99. So resultant will be the total. Minus of. So I have to subtract 1, 3, 5 till how much number? That is 49. Got it? So don't write it as 50 here because all the numbers are odd numbers. So previous number of 51 will be 49, not 50. Got it? So now what you can do is 1, 3, 5. What is the formula that we learned? Model number 2, first category, x square. So x will be n, n plus 1 divided by 2. 99 plus 1 divided by 2. That is 99 plus 100. 100 by 2 will be 50. So finally for this odd set of series, the formula will be x square that is 50 square 2500. So 2500 0, 0 will be the total. So minus of 135 till 49, right? Got it. So again, x square is the formula, but the value of x will be n plus 1 by 2. So 49 plus 1 will be 50 by 2 is 25. So 25 square will be 625. So subtract 625 here. So this becomes 1875. So 1875 will be the total for question number 2 which is sum of series. So friends that's it about this uh, sum of series lesson. It's very interesting and easy to learn. So after watching this video try to practice maximum number of questions at least 30 to 50 questions by referring of your books or search in a Google. You will definitely get more number of questions. So try to solve all those questions only then you can able to crack the question in the exams. So that's it about this lesson number five. It's very important lesson if you are preparing for any competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching this video. And if you really like it, share the video to your friends, those who are preparing for the competitive exams. So thank you so much for watching it. Bye.